She deserved justice. Her son deserves justice. He didn't have a chance to even get to call his mama, mama. She didn't get through those words. She was amazing, amazing mother, amazing sister, you know, amazing friend. And, and she was my baby, you know. The biggest thing about this case is trying to get somebody that knows something to come forward. I mean, somebody knows who did it. But. She was sleeping on the couch and sometimes she was contacted by her friend, uh, went downstairs and was sitting in her mother's car that they came in. And we're sitting out there talking, Brie was in the driver's seat. A little bit later, two males in hoodies and they walk down, right down towards the car. One goes towards the back of the car. One's walking by the front, the one by the front pulls a pistol out, starts shooting in the car as well as the guy that was standing from behind the car. I was awakened by the gunshots. She was laying on the sidewalk. I got down to her, to them, and she was trying to talk to me and tell me that she couldn't breathe. You know, she couldn't breathe, and I told her, don't talk, just keep her eyes open, just continue to look at me. Somebody knows. I just pray that they find it on their heart to just tell her, you know, say something. They took it all away from them for no reason. No reason at all, and it's not fair.